when we talk about some of the best airlines out there, the one that always comes out on top is Singapore Airlines. We've all heard about how good it is, but what is it really like? Let's check it out with Didian. What's up guys, it's Didian, Korean Traveler. The history of Singapore Airlines begins with Malayan Airways in 1947. And with the creation of the Federation of Malaysia in 1963, the name was changed to Malaysian Airways. After Singapore left the Federation in 1972, Singapore Airlines and Malaysian Airlines were founded, as we know them today. Not only was it selected as the best airline in the world in 2018 by Skytrax, it has never budged from being in top 3 in Skytrax history. It is famous for its consistent quality of service. It was the first airline to provide full flat first class seating in 1976. Until date, its first class is more comfortable than most hotels, popularly known as New Suite of A3AT. Singapore Airlines is currently operating 141 aircrafts in total. It has everything from the world's largest aircraft A380AT to the Boeing 787-10 types. They are the first to introduce the newest aircraft models and are famous for being competitive in running the best aircraft, which is why the average age of their plane is just 5 years 9 months, allowing passengers to enjoy better amenities. They also have a low-cost airline called Scoot Airlines, so they cover everything from short to long-distance routes. Ok, let's get on with boarding the business section of Singapore Airlines. I took the Incheon to Singapore flight. Singapore Airlines is a part of the Star Alliance, which means the boarding gate is in Terminal 1. Checking at the business class counter was quite fast as usual. Before COVID-19, Singapore Airlines operated their own lounge, Silver Crease at Incheon Airport. It was praised all around for its excellent food and service. Unfortunately, due to the pandemic, it's currently not in operation. I had to use Asiana's business lounge instead, as they too are Star Alliance partners. But on the way back from Singapore, I could assess the Silver Crease Lounge at the Changi Airport in Singapore. As Singapore is their home ground, the lounge had impeccable amenities and food. It was sophisticated and cozy and most of all, the food was amazing. The selection for food and drinks is as good as any hotel's lounge. You can rest here comfortably before a flight or between flights. Singapore Airlines runs the Incheon Singapore route thrice a day, morning, afternoon, and late night. Back and forth each time, you can adjust your time easily according to your itinerary. Large and mid-sized Boeing and next-generation Airbus run on the Singapore Incheon route, Boeing 787 Dreamliner and Airbus A350. From Incheon, I got to board the Boeing 787. It has 35 business seats and 301 economy seats. The light purple lighting is rather pretty, with this stagger seating, all the window and middle seats are placed alternatively. For those who want to sit by the window, and those who want to sit together should make sure to choose seats in advance. I selected the 19A seat at the back. Perhaps because of the rounded designs, its seat of Singapore Airlines feels like you are sitting comfy inside a capsule. The seats are deep purple leather, and the rest of the seat is dark brown. Sensibly matched. The back of this seat kind of stretches to the side and to the front, acting as a partition almost, making the seat nice and private. The seat cushion gives a lovely contrast as well. With a length of 152cm and width of 76cm, this seat allows you to stretch your legs out fully during the flight. There is an entertainment screen too at the top. All in all, the colors, designs, and fabrics used are quite varied but match well. It's not too simple, but quite sophisticated. Even the shelf next to the seat was designed well. Behind the table with the drink stand here, you can see a small storage space with a door. Inside this peach color storage unit, you can find a menu, a headset, a bottle of water, and a USB port, as well as a power outlet, all neatly kept inside the unit. There's even a little mirror on the side. You don't even need to go to the laboratory to see a mirror. You can find the controller for the lights and the chair behind the shelf. The controller lights up if you touch it. 
There is also a remote on the here for the screen. The seat handle under the remote is a nice detail. Even stuff hanging to the side of the seat differs according to the incline of the chair. Detail is really their thing it seems. Should we take a look at the seat I got on the way back to Incheon? Singapore Airlines is running three types of A350s. There is an ultra-long range airliner running from Singapore to New York. Then there is also the general long distance and the medium distance models. As against the Boeing 787 that you just saw, the ultra-long range and long distance airliners don't have mixed seats. All seats face forward. The design is different too, but the middle distance A350 from Incheon, Singapore is almost the same as the Boeing 787. Personally, I find the long and ultra-long range is business class to have more finesse which is a bit disappointing. I have always found a Singapore Airlines safety instruction video quite well made. A flight attendant named Singapore Girl shows around Singapore while enumerating the safety instructions, which is very aesthetic as well as keeps the Singapore feel alive. You end up focusing on it. Their signature unique uniform, Sarong Kebaya, was designed by famous designer Balmang. You can tell the flight attendants ranked by the color of their uniform. The plane is finally stabilizing after taking off. Drinks are served before the meal. I, Mr. Showoff, ordered champagne as usual. Almonds came along with it. Now it's time for the most awaited in-flight meal service. The table comes out instinctively from under the screen. Seems strong. Chicken satay was served as the canapé before the appetizer. You can think of it as chicken of secures. It was sweet and spicy with peanut sauce. It came with an amazing combination of onions and cucumbers. It was delicious. Australian Italian wines were on offer with the satay. Appetizers included parma ham and pork terrine. The terrine and the salty ham were a good match. There were also four types of bread. You can see how the butter gleams on this freshly toasted garlic bread. The cheese stick had a rich aroma again. Delicious. After finishing this, I decided to change my main to the Korean option. Technically, the Korean menu has its own appetizer. Why I changed it to the Korean menu suddenly is because I really wanted to try the abalone braised short ribs, and it's here. A whole chestnut and abalone lay in the dish. The short ribs look delicious. The sauce is the right balance of sweet and salty. The meat is not overdone. Everything from the seaweed soup to the side dishes were great. A perfect Korean meal. The menu does change every month, but if you take this airline, do try the Korean menu. Green tea ice cream for dessert. Instead of just giving a whole ice cream, they put it on a pretty dish with chocolate on top. In the end, the fruit and cheese were served. Even the cart they used for in-flight meals was right out of an expensive restaurant. Buried cheese, crackers, dried apricots, along with grapes were served. Fresh fruits and hot coffee were next. As this is Singapore Airlines, can't go without TWG. If you want tea, there are seven types of TWGs to choose from. There's also many cocktails like Singapore Sling on offer. Do try different drinks while here. On the way back to Incheon, it was morning, so simple breakfast was served. An easy-to-eat yogurt with fruit first, followed by warm and tasty bread. For mains, there was a choice between wonton noodle, yukgaejang, or scrambled eggs. This is a lot of scrambled egg along with chicken sausage. Those who know Singapore Airlines well are probably going to go for book the cook service rather than basic in-flight meal. Only at Singapore Airlines, you can try inspired dishes by the chefs from the International Culinary Panel. Any business or first passenger on a flight longer than an hour and a half can order from this menu by informing the airline 24 hours in advance. The most famous dishes of the Book the Cook menu are lobster and steak. Let's look at the lobster thermidor first. It was the main dish I had on the way back from Singapore. Is this lobster flesh for real? Lobster with cream sauce and cognac along with different types of mustard was thick, Jewish, and melt in the mouth soft. I recommend it highly to book it on Book the Cook. 
On the way to Singapore, I had booked beef tenderloin steak. It is an item from the menu of international chef Matthew Moran. It comes with its chimichurri sauce. If you don't want Korean food, ordering continental would be great too. If you are still not full after eating all that, ask the flight attendant for a snack. There are plenty. Let's look at all the available items inside. Had it set for entertainment, use the cover for sanitary reasons. It was surprising to see that many good movies in one system. In Chris World, they are in-flight entertainment. There are over 1,800 types of films and TV shows to watch. As Korean was available, I watched a film I had been wanting to but couldn't because of work. Not only that, for business and above, there is also free Wi-Fi available. There is a blanket and a cushion. If there is one thing that's changed it is that you have to specifically ask for the amenities pouch. Hand lotion from British brand Panalingus Quarkus, which is also found in hotels often. Lip balm and facial mist is in the pouch. Panalingus Quarkus stuff is there in the laboratory too. The rest of the flight I just took rest. The seat was large and there was an ample place for the legs. It was crazy how comfortable it was. Many airlines service have changed since the pandemic, but Singapore Airlines is impressive as ever. And even though Incheon to Singapore is a middle distance route, the food and wine options were as extensive as long distance flight. As it was a new aircraft route, the seats were new and the design impeccable. And it goes without saying, but as usual, the flight attendants were very kind. It's clear why Singapore Airlines was selected as world's best airline. If this video helped you plan your next trip, like and subscribe and push the notifications button. This was Didian, Korean Traveler. Thank you.